Okay, good afternoon everyone. So, if we are going to create a frequency histogram, so what we are going to, uh, what we need is the frequency as well as their class boundaries. So when we say class boundaries, uh, the, we will have the lower bound and the upper bound. The lower bound is um, the middle point between, uh, let us say, this interval. Uh, the lower limit of this one and the upper limit of the previous interval. So, for this case, we will have, so, we will have lower bound and upper bound and this will denote our class boundaries okay so we will start with the second interval no so the number between 33 and 34 and that will be 33.5 and this one, the next interval will be 44.5. The next interval, the next interval, we will have 55.5. Sorry, this is 44. Next one should be 66.5. Next is 77.5 and the last one will be 88.5. Now we will just adjust, no? So the difference between the lower bound and the lower limit is 0.5. So if this is 23, we will just adjust this as 22.5. Now, on the upper bound, the upper bound, let's say in this interval, the upper bound of this interval, this one, the upper bound of this interval is just simply the lower bound of the next one. So, upper bound will be here. It should be 33.5, 44.5, Fifty-five point five. We have six six point five. We have seven seven point five. Eight eight point five, and the last one we have the ninety-nine point five. Okay. Now, since we all have the class boundaries for the frequency histogram, what we need on the x-axis is our class boundaries and our um, y-axis will be will be our uh, frequency so we are going to graph that one so we will start with the, we will start from the lower boundaries up to the uh, highest number in the upper boundary. So the boundaries, the class boundaries, will be. So we have 22.5, 33.5, next. Uh, this is 55.5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8.5, and we will have, what's this, uh, 99.5. Then, 
um, we will have the frequency uh, we will just have it by twos no so for the frequency we will just have it by twos this would be two four six eight ten and twelve so two four six eight ten and twelve so from the boundary 22.5 to 33.5 uh, we have a frequency of 5 so from this boundary we will have a frequency of 5 so that is around here no so that around that around bar okay so that is the bar so for this boundary we have 11 so for this boundary we have 11 so we'll have around that bar 11 around that bar next one we have 7 so 7 will be around this bar okay so I, I will just mark that one later we are going to create rectangular shapes out of that one the next one the next one we have what's this we have 8 so in this interval 56 to 66.5 we have 8 so around uh, that bar that line we have 77.5 to 80.5 we have 6 so we can have around this line okay 7 is here 8 is there 6 is there then 7 and the last interval the last interval 88 to 99.5 so we have 3 so we are going to align it so around this interval so we will have that bar so histograms are just sim basically uh, rectangular shapes right no so we are going to form rectangles from this interval okay so So that is for the first class interval, no? or for the first class boundary. The next one, we have this part. Okay. Unlike bar graphs, histograms should have no space in between. Okay. Unlike bar graphs again, uh, histograms should have no space in between these rectangles. Okay. So, that is the next one. Okay, next part, we have 7. So, around 7, it's like here. 7 is around here. Okay. We'll fix that part. Seven. Uh, the next interval we have eight. So this this is the part. Okay, I'll just draw.
Oke. Okay. Oh, there's one interval that we miss out to draw. It's supposed to be 10. Okay, that part. Supposed to be 10. And the next one, suppose we, uh, we have six. This is six. And the last one is seven. Oh no, three. So that is three, around three. okay so that's how our frequency histogram look like okay we will just uh, write the the class interval no so this is from 23 label it to 33 next next one this is 34 to 44 Next, we have 45 to 66. This is 66 to uh, 67 to 77. We have 78 to 88. Oh, wait. 45. No, sorry. This is 45 to... 55 pa. Okay, sorry my bad. This is 56. Sorry. 56 to 66. 67 to 77. We have, sorry, I mistakenly written a wrong entry. This is 78 to 88 and this is 89 to 99 so this is now our frequency histogram look like and we are going to write the title uh, frequency histogram frequency histogram of student scores in statistics test okay so this is now how it looked like Okay, so that's it.